Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. Friends, in this video, we will try to understand how to write the logic for this number pattern Tora. Okay, so here you need to see clearly, uh, I am having five row and five columns okay in this program so if you haven't watched my previous video here this one star pattern program and this number pattern program then please watch this video so this star pattern program is very important for you i have covered all the logic how this uh, program will be uh, working so you can see the pattern pattern is similar like this okay so in the first row we are having five column in the second row we are having four column like this now same way we have to print here okay so guys logic will be same you just need to watch this video first and then please continue on this video current work okay so here what you can see so suppose in this we are having a uh, five row and five column okay so the row value will be five so what we can understand here this is the row suppose we are having five row first we are having five row here one two three four and five okay so what we can see the user enter suppose five then what we can understand here this row value is start from five only okay so the user is enter five and then our value will start from five okay and then value is getting decreased the same way the row value is increased and this value will again decrease okay so based on that i need to write the logic so now let's open my visual studio and then friends if you want video in hindi please help me with your vote you just need to click on this community tab and here poll is created it will take hardly one to two seconds for you so please help me with your vote and write the logic so i will add a new class here so friends i will use the same logic first i will uh, copy paste the logic from the star pattern program so i will say number pattern okay you can give any name so what i can do here i will uh, copy the logic from this program and then paste it here here i need to set the startup object the star pattern and then guys we need to understand here carefully so enter uh so suppose i can say row number okay so we are having five rows here one two three four and five so i'm just asking row number okay and you can give anything so here i am assigning into this num variable let me create a one more variable called temp and then i need to assign the value that we are having into the num variable so initially a temp value is nothing but number value whatever the value entered by the user okay so now this program will work fine for us so it is start from row one and the row less than equal to num and row plus plus and then here i need to enter uh, i need to print something and then what i need to print here so i need to change this logic here okay so what i can do here call is equal to temp so i am going to start from temp because i need to start it from the number okay so whatever the value entered by the user so and user entered value is 4 so it will start from 4 if user enter 5 then it will start from 5 okay and then call and uh, we can say greater than equal to 1 and then i need to decrease the value so this is the logic here that is very important don't worry i will tell you i will explain you and then here i need to print the value of column whatever the value we are having into the column so initially the column is having temp value so it will start from fifth in the first time okay and then what i need to do is i need to decrease the value of temp so after printing this complete line i need to decrease the value of temp so temp minus minus why i am decreasing the value of temp because here if i will go into the second row then we can see here it is starting from four so first it will start from the whatever the value entered by the user and then decrease by minus one so that's why i have used here temp minus minus okay let's uh, run this program and check the startup object number pattern uh, number pattern this one and then don't worry i will explain suppose five and you can see five four three two one okay suppose in future user entered value is 10 so what we will get here we can see the output okay our output is expected okay let's understand the logic how this logic will work let me try to dry run this program so that you can understand better so like user enter value is 5 here so the num value is 5 in my case and then row is starting from 1 so my row value is 1 and the column value 
so what will be the column value in the first column in the first column what i need to print 5 okay so it will start from 5 so and here we can see temp value is nothing but temp value will be also 5 okay in initial state okay now uh, column value is 5 okay and then it will check the condition is the column value greater than or equal to 1 the condition is true because it is 5 and it is 1 so here column value is 5 and what i need to do is if this condition is satisfied means true then controller will go inside this and then it will print five okay and then one space again it will uh, controller will come here and then it will decrease the value of column minus minus so column minus minus is nothing but it will be four okay now call value is four and it will check the condition a call is greater than or equal to one condition is true because four is greater than one so condition is true then it will print four then one space okay now it will control will go here and then go here and then it will decrease the value again column so column minus minus is nothing but it will be three column three is greater than one condition is true if the condition is true it will come here and print three here and then one space then control will come here and then control will come here column minus minus a column minus minus is nothing but column value is now two again this condition is true if the condition is true and then it will print the value of this column value okay so this value is uh, printed and now control will come here and then come control will come here and it will decrease the value of column the column value is now one and then condition is again true because one is equal to one it is not greater than but it is equal it is equal then controller will come here and it will again print one okay so it is done now the control will again come here and it will again decrease the value of uh, column now column value will be uh, minus uh, sorry zero okay so now it will be zero and then what happens so if zero greater than one no is zero equal to one no the condition is not true if the condition is not true then our, our controller will come outside of this loop and then it will decrease the value of temp so now temp value will be 4 in initial state temp value was 5 but now here the temp value is decreased by 1 so now temp value is 4 again it is jumping to the next line control dot right line after printing this complete line so our controller will come here okay at the at here at this stage okay now the control will come here and then it will come here and then it will decrease uh, it will increase the value of row so now row value is 2 and then it will check the condition row is 2 and it is less than num num value is 5 condition is true if the condition is true again a controller will come inside this and then here column value is temp temp is nothing but uh, now we are having 4 here in the temp we are having 4 and then it will check the condition column value is greater than one condition is true because now we are having temp value is four now column value is four so temp is now four and here we are checking the condition call if four is greater than one yes condition is true so let me remove this here it is starting from uh, four okay so here it is starting from four because column value is now four and then it will come here and it will check here it will check the condition condition is true if the condition is true it will come again here and it will print the column value column value is now we are having four and then one is space and then again control will come here column minus minus and then it will uh it will be 3 and then condition is again true because 3 is greater than 1 and then it will print 3 so guys this loop will work like this only okay so i hope you understand the logic and the how to dry run our program so like this we can work on the logic so understanding the logic is very important if you understand the logic you can write any program okay so that is not a problem so first understand the logic carefully and then proceed with the logic okay i hope you understand this program if you have any doubt in this program you can ask me through comment okay guys if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet you can please subscribe my youtube channel also please provide the feedback thank you guys for watching this video we'll see you in the next video bye bye and take care